stepping into the fray. If that can be done, we don't need to worry about things like wine because companies like Case Runner International will compile their programs. They'll know that the environment, you know, we need feedback, we need a round table. We're not doing that. We're just, we just keep paddling as fast as we can, keep making new software, keep putting the new software out, remaking this, remake, oh, this has got, we can put widgets in there, so let's rewrite everything. And at the end of the day, we never get anything that's actually quite finished. And even if it were finished, we don't have the apps we need to use on a day-to-day -day basis in business or for special situations that involves anything other than browsing the web and checking email, which we had capabilities to do 11 years ago. Don't rely on the cloud until such time that cloud apps can do two things. One, function as fully functional as any program could out there that you're trying to address. And two, save data for the end user to come back and either load it up back into this cloud and three and not disappear later okay the idea for anything any any work in open source you have to have some kind of revenue model to back up the work that you're doing in the case of Samba we have two developers that are gonna be employed by somebody somewhere it's based on the overall high importance of the work they do I'm sure Linus will get employed by somebody somewhere but the more proper way to handle it is, is to is to have all this stuff under the umbrella of, say, a Linux foundation or some kind of not-for-profit to fund them. Now, the other argument is, will people that voluntarily pay pay as much as they would if they were forced to pay? Well, the free rider effect in economics tells us that's probably not going to happen, but we at least may as well try And I think that's where we're going to end. But I really, at the end of the day, I think that for Linux to get further, we're going to have to not have such a purist attitude that we take the video drivers out. That, that we understand there are two classes of users. There are people that know how to code, and there are people that don't know how to code. And even though the people that know how to code, I'm sorry, the fact that they have the source code available for every app in here, I'm telling you, no one has enough time in their lifetime to modify all these different programs, even though the source code is available. It's not that important. <coughs> it's not important enough to inconvenience any end users, even people in the developer class. But I think people in the developer class of Linux should somehow be able to register themselves or maybe there should be a, dis a distribution for different types of people a distribution for developers you know that's that's about development it's about source code one for desktop users that doesn't give a crap about source code it's all about usability underlying stability getting vendors to port their things things of that nature. Okay, I'm going to stop and load this up. I'm heading home.